This documentary is about a school opening in a little village outside Santo Domingo, Shinako. Um, but it's more than that. As we leave Shinako in the background um, and ride up in the pickup truck that was provided by the municipality uh, to get us up to the village, um, I think about how this is where most of the needs are, that is, in the very rural areas of Guatemala. You can see that people eke out a living here, uh, doing farming. It's not on a very large scale. Uh, Nora, as we are riding, was asking me about how we farm in the United States, and I tried to explain to her that most of the work is done by machines. It is to these rural areas that we'd like to shift our attention in the future by finding partners that will work with us uh, in these villages where there are already relationships with existing non-governmental organizations or NGOs as they're called. As we arrive and say goodbye to our driver and continue our trek to get to the school, we pass some of the normal means of transportation here and uh, catch a glimpse of the school. As we go down, we see one of the teachers out in the schoolyard doing uh, recess or uh, physical exercises with the kids. Then as we enter the school, we're greeted by the director of the school um, and the teacher of the preschool. They invite us to come down to the new uh, site for the preschool, which was an existing building being used for medical exams. At this point, it becomes clear that there's a celebration going on, and uh, it's uh, that I didn't know about, that is celebrating the opening of the first preschool in this community. They had petitioned the government to have a preschool here, but there weren't enough kids. Um, they require 30 to 40 children in order to open a classroom and justify a teacher. Um, we only require 12. I then go in to see the building. Um, I hadn't seen it since about a month ago when we first agreed we would put in a uh, preschool here. So I see all the supplies that were brought from the United States in order to uh, help the teachers to uh, use a program that is based on playing games instead of on teachers standing at the front of the room and the children memorizing. I reinforce with the teacher a few of our key uh, principles. He spent the last three weeks with a volunteer teacher that was here to show the teachers, such as Walter, how to use the materials that we bring down from the States to play games with the children and at the same time give them an education, which will prepare them to be successful in first grade. Forty percent of the kids that will go to the first grade in this school will not be successful because they have not been prepared. They will then either repeat the grade or they'll drop out uh, with their parents convinced that they're just not bright enough. At this point, the parents start arriving. Uh, all the men, of course, are in the field, so it's the women that bring uh, their babies and the uh, children that are going to be attending the preschool. A young man who has been the director of the school for four years, ever since he got out of high school himself, begins to explain to the parents why we're here, uh, what their responsibilities are. But it isn't until Nora starts speaking in their native Kechikel language that the women start paying very close attention um, and start asking questions of Nora. It isn't until later in the day when we talk with Nora that we learn more about what their questions were, 
Uh, Nora explains to us that these women know of other children that would like to be able to come to the school, but they have various health problems, and one in particular has a cleft palate, which has had a uh, operation on to partially fix it, but not completely, and asks for our help. Nora agrees that she'll get that help for them. Donde ella puede acudir. As the women are leaving the school with their children, uh, I reflect on how difficult the life is here, um, how tough it is just to eke out a living without uh, being able to help your children to do any better. And I noticed the children standing around outside the school, some of the young ones uh, that have not yet uh, begun, and some of the older ones that are on their way home. And then see even these little dogs uh, trying to uh, eke out a living in this uh, very difficult circumstance. I know that we've got to continue finding other ways to approach communities, uh, determine where help is most needed, and then engage unemployed teachers that have a feeling, uh, a heart, for working in their communities, uh, and put them together with sponsors in the United States, bring materials, and start more preschools. We need to help these parents do the job they're not capable of, that is to prepare their children to be successful in school, to be successful in the first grade. As the teachers who walk this path every day, the one that we rode in the truck to come up here, um, head back to Shenico, uh, I know that there are those committed teachers, uh, in this case three young men, that uh, will finish the job if we can just give them a helping hand to get started.